this as. Thank you, Glenn, for being with us. Thank you. How are you? So first of all, uh, you've been 20, 20 years in this industry. How has this market changed? Uh, the market's actually uh, changed quite a bit over the years, and what we've seen is this ability for the retail user to be able to access a market that for the first 20 years, let's say, was only accessible to the largest trading companies or hedge funds or businesses like that. And so now we're seeing the retail user understand this product more, open up accounts, and access the product directly. And uh, which kind of trends uh, do, you, do you see right now in investors that are really interested in the Forex market? One of the trends is actually less market driven and more technology driven. We're seeing the application of mobile apps. This is a 24 hour market. And so the ability to detach the user base from their desktop and get out on a mobile app and trade this and watch their positions and watch their market seems to be a, a development that's perfectly in tune with the type of the market that it is in terms of currency trading. And uh, also, uh, you, you operate in 140 countries, if I'm not wrong. That is correct. And also uh, 25, uh, 20, 250 billion uh, changing every, day, uh, every month. Uh, which uh, other countries, which other regions of the world are you interested in expanding? I think certain the regions where emerging economies are coming online in places like Latin America or certain parts of Asia Pacific, we're seeing more and more customers um, be interested in this product, you know, go to our practice environment, open up accounts, and start to trade the, the, the business. And so I think it started out in kind of the Western economies, and we're seeing a migration now, particularly to Latin America and Asia Pacific. And also, uh, we have seen a lot of uh, issues uh, regarding regulation. Uh, does this affect your business in some way, especially for investors that maybe go offshore to use other kind of platforms because of the regulation here in the U.S.? A absolutely it does, but we don't consider it kind of a conflict. We consider it more of an opportunity to educate the regulator. In a new and rapidly evolving industry, the way currency trading is, the regulator, frankly, is just trying to get all the facts together and, and modify their policies to help the investor. So we see that, we try to work with them, and it's not something that's standardized across the whole world. It, you see it regionally developing some markets are more developed some markets are less developed and so ultimately I think the customer will be well served by regulators understanding the product more and being able to adjust their policies accordingly and leave them with a, a better bet to, and more transparency so it's a good thing for the industry overall and uh, also we have seen like uh, uh, such a large banks are also like trying to offer right now uh, this kind of Forex products to their to their clients do you see them as a competition as a threat Absolutely not. We actually see them as partners in our business because ultimately there's such a small percentage of investor that has considered this asset class so far and it's growing so rapidly that if a large credible institution wants to bring this product to market, it only helps the general awareness. And, and what it does is bring new participants into the market and make them more aware of all the virtues of trading foreign exchange. So we look at it as that one more growth driver that brings even more participants into the market. And ultimately, if we can be one of the best providers out there, we're going to win over those customer hearts anyway. And just a, a last question. We have seen a financial crisis. Right now we still see a lot of volatility, especially coming from Europe with the sovereign debt crisis. Which kind of recommendations would you give to your clients right now? I think staying well versed and, and doing your homework is the best thing you can absolutely do. Currency markets particularly are very difficult to manipulate. It really means that there's lots of information out there at the fingertips if you want to get involved. And so if you look at about all the trends that are happening globally with interest rates, with, with, with geopolitical events that happen, you have to stay in touch, you have to stay abreast, but ultimately that information is there, so we tell customers to do their homework because it, it does create trading opportunities every single day. Thank you, Glenn, uh, for your time, and good luck with the IPO. Thank you.